Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this contraption, which is a ramp walker. And the name comes from the fact that it walks on an inclined plane or ramp. And how it works? Notice that when it is on a horizontal position, it rests on the rear leg. But when we put it on the inclined plane in this position, the whole body rotates and the forward leg separates from the rear leg. When it is in this position, both legs are close to each other. Then it moves forward because gravity pulls it down and the frontal leg moves forward. Then the front leg touches the ground and the rear leg moves close to the front leg because it is free to pivot. Then it swings back and the cycle repeats. This screw controls the length of the step. Here it is moved forward, so the step is quite small. Let's see. And we can also set a larger step length. There are lots of videos here on YouTube on these ramp walkers, but no detailed descriptions on how to build one. So let's see how I made this. These are the different parts of the walker. This is the main body, is this part in here. 65 millimeters in length, 40 millimeters in height, and we have here 15 and 15. And it's made out of a piece of wood of 10 millimeters in width. We also need four legs, the front legs, are this rectangle 50 millimeters by 14 millimeters these two and the rear legs are of the same size but this part of here is a semicircle and they are made with wood of 5 millimeters in width and also here we need to make a hole of one eighth of an inch for the screw. The two feet are of these measures, 16 millimeters, seven here and 10 here, and they must be sanded in this way in order to have the oscillatory move. The screw is a 632 by one inch, and we also need to make a hole here for the pivot. I used a piece of wire that I took from a paper clip. And the two legs must be in this way, separated two or three millimeters. And we also need to glue a small piece of wood here, which is what? prevents the movement thanks to the screw.
It is convenient to glue foamy or sandpaper to the ramp in order to have more friction and prevent the walker from slipping. You can also leave the naked wood and glue the foamy or sandpaper to the feet of the walker. Thanks for visiting my channel and stay tuned for the next video.